What's going on contractors? So this is video two of me introducing this new thing that I built. It's called tools.adaptdigitalsolutions.com. Today I'm going to be showing you the GMB competition tool. Okay, so this thing might look kind of complicated, but let me explain. So the purpose of this goes back to, I am constantly consulting with contractors, coaching them. And one of the things I'm always saying is, you need to get reviews. And when they ask me how many reviews, I have to just look at their competition and ballpark it for them, just based off of my experience and my intuition. But I don't like relying on intuition, I like relying on data. So I made this tool for myself. I use this every day when I'm looking at different markets, different keywords, different businesses, and I want you to be able to use it too. So check this out. So let's just say that uh, we are a contractor in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. That's where I live, and so that's where the map defaults. And let's say that I am a remodeler. Okay, and my city is about yay big, so I'll do, I'll do like a six mile radius. I'll move this map around to, to cover the area that I want to cover, which is about there. And then I'll click update results. And what it's going to do is it's going to pull up every company that shows up on Google Maps in this radius for this keyword. And so what I can do is I can hover over these, I can see who they are. And really the, the core purpose of this tool is right here. So this is telling me that the average number of reviews a company has in this area for the keyword remodeler is six. And the top, the top three companies average is 18. So if I wanna be in the top three, I need to be beating 18. And if I wanna beat the top contender, I need to have more than 33 reviews. And that's it. If you want, if you're a nerd like me and you wanna go deep into the data, I've got a lot more factors in here, but at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. And just based off of doing this scan a bunch of times and the math behind it, like my my area would be considered lo pretty low competition, which is accurate. This is definitely low competition. Anybody could come in here and decide that they want to get more than 33 reviews and be crushing the top three. Um, you can also go down here and see who you're dealing with. So you can see that Creekside with 66 reviews, they have they have more reviews than everybody else by far. And they're the reason why this top three average is so high. And so if I wanted to be number one in my market, I would need 67 reviews. If I wanted to be number two, I only need 19. And so this is what you're you're looking at. And what you should do, let's just go to another, let's go to like Minneapolis, which is a much more competitive area. And if I back this out to just 10 miles, say, and do the same, keyword remodeler probably going to have a lot more companies show up and let's just wait it takes a second to get all this data from google so be patient but okay you can see that i had 47 businesses show up just in this 10 mile radius and i'm still running a bunch of calculations and i can see who i'm up against and you can see this this competition level of a 58 this is much higher it's because look at the number of reviews these guys have. And so if I was like a new company in this area, I would try not to have to compete with these guys if I didn't have to. Um, and this is, this is the way it works now because there are so many companies on Google and so many of these companies have tons of reviews. When you're just coming into the game, whether you've been in business for two days or two decades, if you are way behind on reviews, that is gonna hold you back. And so what what you wanna do in a situation like this is let's say like you're actually, you know, these guys, no, those guys have too many reviews. Let's try to find one with like a little bit. Okay, like J&J &J Remodeling. And I don't know these guys, sorry if I'm mentioning you and you're not happy about it, but uh, these guys have eight reviews. So if I zoom in on their area here, they were number six. Let's go a much smaller radius. And so this is what they would do. It's like, okay, let's 
let's try a three mile radius and let's see who we're up against here. Again, we gotta wait a second for the tool to gather the data from Google. And okay, so now what are we looking at? Oh man, it's saying that we're even more competitive here. Why is it saying that? Oh, it's because these guys have 1500 reviews. Ouch. So for bathroom remodels, we got Bath Fitter, Mad City Windows and Baths. These guys are probably bathroom remodels too. Kitchens. And then ton. these guys look a little more generic, meaning like they do more remodels. Um, but the moral of the story is if you're in a competitive city like Minneapolis, you want to narrow this down. You want to try to find a small enough radius around your location where it's not super competitive and your hope is that you don't live you know your location isn't next door to the most competitive people in the area like this guy this guy's right next to basically the top two bathroom remodelers so if this guy's trying to do bathroom remodeling he's going to have a hard time but he if he's doing like basements or something like that and these guys don't do basements then he's going to be in the clear uh, but the so check this tool out use it as in your own area you're probably going to have questions so if you want me to answer your questions throw them in the comment section of this video and i will go in and answer your questions maybe i'll do another demo I'll, i can also adjust this tool to make it easier for to use for you to use i i built it for me i know exactly what i'm looking for when i use this thing um, it's mainly a way for me to just size up the competition in any area and also scout for areas that are less competitive you know if i'm if i was a contractor in this area and i discovered that like up here near rogers was less competitive but i knew there were some good neighborhoods to work in up there i might even move my business over into that area to try to take over that little market um but any contractor coming into this market you're never going to be able to win in an area like this you have to narrow it down and try to take over a little piece of land before you start expanding. So hope that's helpful. Drop your questions and your comments in the comment section. And thanks for watching.